Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how I made a beaded bag. I carried it for my wedding, so yeah, it's wedding compliance. Take a look at this. Alright, so let's get started. Wait, one minute. Do you think you can subscribe to this YouTube channel? It's going to mean so much to me. Alright, I will do that. Let's get started. So I'm going to work with 0.70 of a fishing line. This is 0.80. As you can see, the written here, 0.80 is too thick. So I'm working with the 0.70 version of it. And then I got a pack of this heavy. And I got a strand of crystal. I don't know if it's supposed to be enough. If it's not, I'll let you know at the end of the video. So I'm going to fix six of this. So now pick the end of the fishing line and I'll just cross with the sixth pair bead and I'll just put it all the way down. I want it to cross so I just hold it down. Can you see so that's six now? So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to grab another pair bead, take it all the way down. Now I want to locate the middle. Can you see what I did? Look at the middle. So, uh, we we'll have to pass it into this bit. This right here. Just going to pass it down and pull, and then I'll just pass it around the rest of the bit at the side. The goal is I want it to return back to this position with the other fish line is so this is this now if i want it pretty firm i'll just stick it around so it can be firm and that's what i'm going to do Get back here. And pull. And it's fine. So the next thing I'm going to do is for this end, I'm going to pick one crystal, one pair, another crystal, another pair, and then and not it with the pearl. Can you see that? Now I'm going to pass my thread into the next pearl. it now there's a crystal here so i won't add any crystal first i'm just going to add one pair one crystal one pair and yet another crystal Next, I'll pass my fishing line into this other pair. So that's what I'm going to do all the way to the end. So I've gotten to the end of this first layer. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick the fishing line. 
of the thread depending on what method you're using pass it into the pearl bead and also pass it into the crystal so that way i'm going to put one pearl one crystal and one pearl and I'll just cross with the pearl this is a crystal here so I'm going to add another crystal can you see it has formed so that's that so now that I'm done for the next phase I'm going to pick my thread and I'm going to pass it into the pearl bead. Pass it into the pearl. So now that I've passed, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick one crystal, two pearl. Crystal. I'm just going to knot with the crystal. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pass into this crystal here. into the crystal here and I'm going to add just one pearl and one crystal and I'm going to knot with this crystal so can you see that so the next thing I'll do now is I'll pass this fishing line into this two pearl and repeat this process so it's going to be two fish line, two pearl, one crystal, one pearl. Now keep in mind to always work with the fish line closest to this side. So because there's a crystal here, I'm just going to add two pearl. And I'm going to melt with a crystal. Then I'll not. Next thing I'm going to do is passing it into one crystal. I'm just going to add one pair, one, one crystal, and also the crystal. So that's just how I'm going to continue all the way to the end. So right now I've gotten to the end. So this is how I'm going to close it. I'm going to pass the fishy line into this two crystal we have right here. And next, I'm going to pick the one pearl and I'm going to close with it. So I'll start closing with this pearl. This is going to, that's just going to bring us... Then I'm going to close with just one pearl and that brings us to the end of the base. So I don't form in the base. Now I'm about to start climbing or building the walls of the back. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pass the fishing line. It doesn't matter if you're passing the left or the right. Just pass into whatever direction. Okay. So when you're done passing it, what you're going to do next is now you can work with whatever hand you want. What you're going to do next is you're going to pick one crystal. Pick one crystal right there, two pearl, 
and another crystal. And I'm just going to knot with the crystal. Can you see that it assumed a standing position automatically? So the next thing I'm going to do is pick the fish line closest to this and pass into another two pearl big. To pass into. See, now there's a crystal here, so I won't be adding crystal. I'll just go ahead and add two pearl. And one crystal. I'm going to knot with the crystal. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue like that all the way around. I'm going to pick my fish line again and I'll pass into the pearl, into two pearl. Okay, so I pass into one, two. Pull it out. Now just go ahead and add two pearl bead and one crystal. So that's just what I'm going to do all the way around the bag. So now I've got it to the end. So I passed it into this two, this two pearl bead. I'm going to add it into this one last crystal. Now remember to always pull your bead so it could be firm. You don't want to have something loose. So next I'm just going to go ahead and add two pearl because I have crystal here, crystal here, so there's no point adding any other crystal. Then I'm going to close with last one so this is it this is how the base looks like and then i'm just going to continue building it or depending on how high you want it to be now to start the next second second layer you have to pass it into another pearl bead there's no it's inside just one pass it into another one you have double and then you repeat the process remember to always put your pushing line so as to have a very firm bead I'm going to add one crystal here, two fishing line, sorry, two pearl bead, another crystal, and I'm going to cast with my crystal. Yeah, so yeah, that's another layer, can you see? So I'm going to pass into this and this. And next, there's only to add a crystal, so I'm going to go with super bead. And one crystal. So that's how I'm going to continue all the way up. So I'm done and then I made a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight walls. And I had to get an extra strand of this crystal because one crystal a strand was not enough. So I've got it to the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass officially round.
so happy to undone because some my fish are to the end of both so I'm going to pull it to be equal so let's get a good pull <sighs> so here's it then I'm going to go ahead and can you see what I did I just passed it around. So let's go ahead and put that piece of bead. So I want to be sure I'm okay with this. Right. Yeah, I okay. am. I decided to spark it. So I added 12 pieces of bead. So I'm going to pass it at I'm going to pass the sharing at opposite direction. One year one here. So I can pass it around again and give it a good tie. So this is the middle. And also pass the second strand of fish line into I'm gonna give it a good pull. Oh, this is kind of So I'll pass it round and then tight. It's coming fine. So next one to pull on tie. And then I'll cut. So yay, my bag is ready. My bag is ready, my bag is ready. So that's that. Thank you for watching. I like to see replicate bags double. So you can tag me on my social media handles showing on the screen.